Hello Pisces, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so we'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But we are going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date. How does Pisces currently view this relationship? All right, Pisces. So we have the Ace of Wands. We also have the Empress, and then we also have the Queen of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like right now, your main focus slash priority has a lot to do with whatever it is that you're passionate about slash your career, okay? It kind of looks like that's your main focus slash priority right now, Pisces. Not only that, but I also kind of feel like you're really focused on yourself. I also kind of feel like you're focusing on a lot of, you know, self-love as well as healing because the Queen of Cups can definitely insinuate that there's a lot of healing taking place. Um... I don't get I, I don't see anyone attached to you Pisces so maybe you're single maybe you just want to take this time out to really focus on whatever it is that you're passionate about um, or your career and yourself right now I just I just don't feel like love is a main focus slash priority for you right now like don't don't get me wrong I feel like you want love in your life I just don't feel like you're going out your way to look for it does that make sense hopefully it does okay let's keep going how does this person Ooh, we got the Queen of Cups again. We also have the Lovers. And then we have the Ace of Swords with the Five of Swords to the King of Cups to the Two of Wands to the Hermit to the Five of Wands to the Seven of Cups to the Ace of Cups. Whoever this King of Cups is, um, I, I feel like you know them. I feel like you know who they are. Um, it could be somebody that you're once upon a time romantically involved with. But whoever this King of Cups is, you're probably not talking to them anymore. But I feel like they're under the impression that you could very well be seeing someone new. In other words, this person thinks that you're over them and you're more than likely talking to somebody else as we speak. Which is kind of interesting that I said what I said about you. Because I'm not getting anybody else in your energy but you but I feel like this person is under the impression that you've already moved on with your life and that you're more than likely talking to somebody else according to them they just know it okay and I kind of feel like the thought alone of you talking to someone else or being with someone else it really does rub this person the wrong way so to speak and that could have a lot to do with the simple fact that this is somebody who still does want to be with you and they don't want you to essentially move on with your life and start talking to other people. But yeah, I just kind of feel like this person's under the impression that you're talking to someone else or that you're seeing someone else. That's just the theory that they have right now in regards to you and what you could possibly be doing right now. You know, it has that, that, that feel to it. Let's look at this King of Cups. Can I more about the King of Cups? Yeah, I don't even feel like you're with this King of Cups anymore. I don't feel like you're with this King of Cups anymore. It kind of looks pretty over and done with here. It does. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's pretty over and done with here between you and this person. So as to why they care if you are talking to somebody else or if you are seeing someone else is honestly beyond me because it kind of looks like it's pretty done and over with here between you and this person again it's like the thought alone right of you talking to somebody else or seeing someone else like that really does rub this person the wrong way and it really does piss this person off i don't know if it's because like they still want to be with you or i don't know what the case is to be honest because i don't see this person making a move in your direction i just kind of feel like they're under the impression that you've already moved on with your life and you're probably talking to somebody else Pisces as we speak, you know. I, I don't know. Maybe you are, I guess. I don't I don't know. Are you? I don't know. How does How does Pisces? We have the death card. We have the six of cups, and then we also have the high priestess. I'm not getting anybody in your energy. That's the thing. So I don't, I don't know why this person's under the impression that you're seeing somebody else or that you're talking to someone. I don't know. 
I really, really don't know. But I'm not getting anybody in your energy. Tell me more about the death card for Pisces. I feel like right now, your whole thing is focusing on you, your career, or whatever it is that you're passionate about. I also kind of feel like a lot of you are focusing on your overall healing and moving past whatever the heck happened here uh, between you and this person. I'm not getting anybody else in your energy field as of right now. Of course, if that changes, then I guess I'll let you know. But I'm not, I don't know why this person's under the impression that you're talking to somebody else or that you're seeing somebody else. I'm not sure why they're under that impression, nor do I like fully understand why that even matters at this point. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. We got the five of wands, we got the ten. See, this person's very contradicting because I kind of feel like the thought, right? Let's just, let's, let's entertain this real quick, Pisces. Just help me out. The thought of, sorry, I got distracted. The thought, right? Of like you moving on with your life and talking to someone new, it just rubs this human the wrong way. It's like they don't want you to move on with your life. They don't. But at the same exact time, 10 of cups, 10 of wands to the five of wands, it's like, they're not trying to fight for this anymore. Don't get it twisted. They're not trying to fight for this anymore. Like, it's like, okay, so it's like, what the fuck does it matter? Like, if you moved on with your life or not, like, this person's very contradicting, okay? Like, I feel like they're a little bit scattered right now. It's like, Pisces, don't you dare move on with your life, Pisces. Don't you dare move on with your life. Don't you dare start talking to anybody else, Pisces. Don't do it because it's going to really piss this person off. Oh, and also keep in mind that they're not trying to fight for you or this relationship anymore. So then there's that. This is like the true epitome of trying to control someone. Yeah, it's like the true epitome of trying to control somebody's life after an ending. Like my niece always says, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make, because this doesn't make sense any, it just, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, they don't want you talking with anybody else. They don't want you to move on with your life. And they're not going to fight for this anymore, by the way, Pisces. They're not going to fight for this. Don't don't even let the idea cross your mind, Pisces. They're not fighting for you or this relationship anymore. So it's like, then what the fuck does it matter? Like, oh no, this is giving me a migraine, man. What actions? Okay. So we have the, we have the seven of pentacles. We have the six of pentacles. And then we also have... The hangman with the knight of cups to the five of swords to the king of cups. Pisces, oh, I don't know, man. I, I I don't know. What actions? You can't make some stuff up sometimes. You know what I mean? We got the seven of cups for you. We have the strength card for you. And then we also have the page of wands. A uh, page of wands basically represents the receiving end of some sort of news slash communication. You're receiving some sort of news slash communication out of the blue here. And if I had to bet my last dollar on it, Pisces, this person's basically deciding to extend an olive branch to you, wanting to essentially fix things with you, wanting to essentially apologize to you. How quickly things change. <laughs> this person, like, I'm gonna be honest, like, not only do they give me a migraine and I don't appreciate that, but it's like they're kind of all over the place. They are. They go from Pisces, you better not be talking to anybody uh, and you better not have moved on with your life, Pisces, to, and by the way, I'm not going to fight for this anymore, Pisces, to, you know what, I miss Pisces. Let me, let me just fucking go talk to them and apologize to them. It's like, what the fuck? What the hell are we seeing here? What are we, what, are, what? I don't know, Pisces. I don't know. What should Pisces do? Okay. So we have the Hermit. We have the Four of Swords. And then we have the Devil to the Eight of Pentacles. This is a very interesting energy that came out here for you. In regards to what you should do, I'm going to be honest. It is kind of telling you that you know that this entire situation isn't healthy for you. We'll say that. You know that this entire situation between you and this person is extremely toxic and it's extremely unhealthy for you. And I feel like you know that already. Like through this separation, 
you've realized how toxic and unhealthy this relationship actually is uh or was I, I should say between you and this person i feel like you worked really really hard to get out of this entire situation to get back to a place of feeling good and aligned with yourself all over again to go back to that do you really want to do that i don't know the decision is entirely up to you to be completely honest but yeah, this is somebody who's all over the place, man. Like, they're all over the place. They're all over the place. It's like one minute they can't freaking stand you, and the next minute it's like, I miss them. Let me go back. Like, it's like, which one is it? You know what I mean? Um, don't get me wrong. Like, I feel like this person really does love you. I do. Like, I feel like this person really does love you, but Jesus Christ, man, like... Again, it's like one minute they really, really do love you. The next minute they can't stand your guts. The next minute they'll be damned if they try to fight for you or this relationship. But then the next thing you know, they're trying to fight for you in this relationship. It's like, this is a lot, Pisces. But I don't know. The decision is entirely up to you. I feel like if you were to take this person back, you already know what's up. Like, you already know what to anticipate slash expect here uh, from this person in particular. <clears throat> Let's see the outcome, though. I'm kind of curious. Let's see the outcome between Pisces and this person. We have justice. Do yourself a favor, Pisces. Do yourself a favor and free yourself from this entire situation here between you and this person. Temperance trumps the devil every single time. Every single time. It's, it's, it's telling you to do yourself a favor. You already know what's up. Like, you already know what you're going to um, expect if you were to revisit this all over again. And also, too, it's like the divine wants you to continue to be on the path that you're currently on. Because that's the path that you're supposed to currently be on. And I feel like this one over here is going to really throw you off the moment that they resurface back up here for you. It's like the epitome of them basically sucking you back into the madness all over again. And you have to really ask yourself, do you honestly want to do that again? Because you worked hard to get out of this toxic environment. To go back again? I don't know. I don't know. It, this, this, this basically, it's one of those situations where it's like, are you honestly willing to compromise your peace all over again? Because I don't feel like you had that with them. So are you willing to compromise your peace again for them? That's that's a decision that only you can make, okay? So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.